Change is brewing for bikini baristas in Everett. Earlier tonight, city council voted unanimously to adopt a new ordinance that would force them to cover up minimally. The change comes after the city's former dress code was ruled as unconstitutional. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman spoke with a stand owner who sued the city. So, Allie, what does she have to say tonight? She actually tells me that she actually helped the city of Everett draft up this new dress code ordinance after her lawsuit. So she's pretty much in favor of it. And while she says that, yes, this new dress code can impact the amount of tips her employees are getting, well, bottom line is they're here to make coffee. And those, those tips are actually for their service and nothing more. Member Fossey? Yes. Vice President Zarlingo? Yes. Everett City Council unanimously voting yes. to make changes to Bikini Barista's dress code after years of back and forth. You know what? The dress code needs to be there. And good. I'm glad it's there. Not what you thought you'd hear from Bikini Barista coffee stand owner Giovanna Edge after she sued the city of Everett in 2017 after they asked baristas to cover up. However, she says being in the business for more than a decade, she's seen how ugly things can get. There's so many bikini stands and because there are so many, you have all of these stands competing with each other to see like who's going to do the most for what. Complaints about little to no clothing, employees exposing themselves and loot acts go way back to 2009. Everett Police reportedly received more than 40 complaints about bikini barista stands in that year alone. Undercover officers say they were offered specials. Bikini baristas are not sex workers. They get a paycheck. They're paid minimum wage to make coffee in their underwear. They're not sex workers. What do you guys got going on today? Honestly, I love this job because I'm able to wear what I want to wear. There is that one. We like doing what we do. Nobody is forcing any of the girls to to wear less. We all wear what we're comfortable wearing. It is kind of how we express ourselves, you know, every day. Baristas felt they were targeted. In 2022, federal courts agreed with them, and they were allowed to once again wear what they were comfortable with until now. The ordinance calls for baristas to cover up minimum body areas. Clothes cannot be see-through and body areas must remain covered while they stand, bend, reach, or do other work duties. And if you send me something, and if you show up wearing something that you're not supposed to wear to work, I'm going to send you home. As we've reported, the city attorney has made it very clear that businesses violating this new ordinance can be cited and even lose their license. So we know that now Everett Police and Code Enforcement will be enforcing this ordinance, which will go into effect in 15 days after the mayor signs it tonight. Live in Everett, Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News.